What's going on YouTube? In today's video, we're going to be trying to save this beat up pair of New Balance 992s in this gray colorway. Like I've mentioned before, I'm always scouting out sneaker resellers and a place to buy New Balances, specifically eBay is where I picked these up. I saw these and they were completely destroyed. I, I did not understand why anybody would even try and sell these, but because it's a 992, I do not own a 992 and there's no other sneaker that I would want more than a 992. I had to buy it, obviously. Um, even though it's on its last leg, I'm gonna try and uh, revive it and restore it uh, by cleaning it and, and fixing some of the problems with it. Uh, some of these pieces on the sneaker are unsavable. That's fine, I'm gonna live with that. I paid about 50 bucks for this sneaker. I don't know how old this is or when it was made or, or when it was bought, but all I know is this sneaker was absolutely destroyed and worn and loved. And when I say wear your sneakers to death, this is the perfect example. I mean, this shoe is on its last leg, but I think if I can clean it up, I can give it a new life uh, that I will very much enjoy. For the most part, the structure is held together pretty well. There's not too many big complaints. The tongue is very flaccid. I mean, there's nothing I can do about that. Uh, the midsole has held up pretty well. The suede is pretty much cooked. So I'm gonna to try my best to clean this sneaker. Uh, and at the end of the day, what am I at, 50 bucks? So I'm gonna do my best. I will wear this sneaker. I did try it on. It's still really comfortable, uh, which is not surprising for a New Balance, especially a made model. Uh, the, probably the best part about this sneaker is the outsole. Uh, the outsole is actually held up pretty well. This is just simply a New Balance that I needed to get while I wait for them to re-release the 992 in a few years. Let's try and save this shoe. I'm not promising I can save this shoe. I've never actually tried to restore a New Balance before. So this is my first time, so I'm really excited. Let's get after it. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take out the laces. Okay, so now we have both laces out. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my cleaning solution, which is just a uh, rejuvenator, um, just a regular rejuvenator. I, I think this works best. So I'm gonna put a little bit in a bowl. Probably a little more than that. And I'm just gonna dip those laces in there and let them soak uh, while we clean the shoes. Make sure they're completely submerged. Um, that's water is gonna be very dirty. And then once we're done, I'll show you what to do uh, with those laces. The actual shoes themselves, Typically, I would say don't use water on suede. Um, that'd be going for like a shoe that's like you care about a lot. So like your regular uh, 990 V4 that you've been wearing for a few days, and you got a little stain on it. I would go with a suede brush or an eraser, and I'm gonna make a separate video on how to do that. But for these specifically, I really don't care what happens to the suede. It's already kind of busted up. So I'm just gonna go ahead and um, use water and soap. We'll see what happens. Um, I am kind of curious uh, what will happen, but we're just gonna go for that. So we'll just take cleaning solution and we'll just put a few drops into the bowl. One, two, three, that seems like enough. And uh, we'll get a just, all I have is a, is a medium bristle brush. Um, you can, there's like sometimes you can buy like the three pack, the soft, the medium and the hard. But for today, we're just gonna go with the medium bristle brush. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start with the midsole. See, like there's a lot of stains on it. Like, like there's this black stain right there. That's, hopefully that comes out. Um, you guys ever go to the mall and like those dudes will try and uh, clean your shoes for you and then they sucker you into a, a $40 cleaning that you don't need? Cleaning solution. Yeah, that happens to me all the time, uh, but it is what it is. So I think this, the most of this midsole is stained. Um, it's 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 pretty stained. Uh, it does look better than it did before. Here's like the other one. It looks a lot better in my opinion. If you want to look at that, it looks a lot better. So yeah, it does actually. I didn't think it turned out that well, but it did. Um, I am going to go over it another time uh, just to be safe and make sure I get a good cleaning out of it. Okay. So, midsole for this shoe is clean. Okay, that actually looks great. 
the midsole on this looks looks pretty solid. The yellowing on, on the back heel, that's impossible to clean. It is what it is, right? Plus, I think it was kind of that color to begin with. So, what we're going to do now is we're just going to start brushing the top. So as far as brushing suede, I am going to go over it with um, a dry bristle brush later. So I just found this soft bristle brush that I'm going to use on the mesh because whatever I did, the hard bristle brush, the medium bristle brush, uh, did not react well to the mesh. Uh, it, was, it was getting stuck in the mesh. So we're going to try and go over it with this... Uh, Nice. Yeah, that's so much better. The shoe likes that a lot more. The thing that makes me the most mad is this rip right here. And I can't fix that. If anybody in the comments knows how to fix that, uh, please leave a comment below because I would love to, to make that fixed. But if not, I'm not going to lose my mind over it. So it's a little hard to tell right now, but here's the side by side. This is soaking wet. This is muddy so there's the clean one i think honestly if we just got that midsole clean like that that's the biggest win uh, i'm happy with that for the midsole again this is the other shoe we're just going to clean it we're going to clean the midsole like we did the other one because i think that worked really well part right here is kind of like separating a little bit i don't know if you guys can see that um but i think we'll be fine i don't think it's going to affect the shoe that much um, the midsole on this one did come clean too, so that's a big W. Now the biggest thing I want to clean is this right here, this mud spot right here. When I saw that on the pictures on eBay, I was like, that's going to be hard to clean. So that's priority number one, so let's just get right after that. Both sneakers are clean. To the best of my ability. Pretty happy with how they came out. They look darker now because they're soaking wet. Um, but that's that's fine. We'll put them outside, let them dry. So the biggest things are these these lips are coming undone. So we're gonna fix that with some super glue. So I'm only gonna use a little bit because I know how strong this stuff can be. So I just put like a dab there. I'm just gonna hold it there for like a minute. So that one is glued. Now for this one, this one's not as bad. That's glued. I wonder if I could glue that. Yeah, so I'm gonna glue this under here. Uh, that part right there, I'm gonna glue that. I feel like a doctor. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna take the laces. And we're just going to squeeze out all that excess water. And we're just going to rub them together. The water gets really, really gross. I don't know why I went and got this water. Why did I just do that? I don't know. We could just squeeze out all that juice from it. And kind of rub them together like you're trying to start a fire. Look how dirty that water is. It's disgusting. You can do that a couple times and then just let them hang dry. So that's all I have for this part of the cleaning video. I'm gonna come back in a few days when they're completely dry, completely cleaned, laces back in, insoles back in, and then I'll show you guys the final product. I think I did the best that I could have done um, for somebody that really doesn't clean shoes that often. Uh, there's still a few little things I want to do to them, uh, but for the most part, they're done. All right, so it's been a couple days since I've cleaned this sneaker, and I have not worn another sneaker other than this one right here since I got it. I'm honestly shocked on how well this sneaker has been revived and how it's still holding up. Uh, I'm, I'm loving it. Um, I really do enjoy the 992. It's fun to have a new silhouette sometimes, so I'm really glad that I'm able to experience this. When I first bought this sneaker, I don't think I would have ever have worn it. But after cleaning it and reviving it and fixing some of the stains on it, I, I really do enjoy wearing this sneaker. 
The biggest thing that I I'm really happy about is that this front tab part was falling off. Glued that right back up. It's holding up very strong. The big stains around the suede and the mesh are, for the most part, gone. The good thing about a Grand New Balance is that it really doesn't look that dirty. It's just, it holds up very well. They don't really show wear like other sneakers do. Obviously some of the, the more harsh things on this, like the tongue is kind of still destroyed. I really don't know if I could fix that if I really wanted to, which is fine. The shoe is still very, very comfortable. Like I said, I've worn the sneaker a lot since I got it and I've worn it for long periods of time and the comfort feels great. Like standing all day, uh, just going about my everyday life, uh, this sneaker holds up very well, and, and I'm not even shocked because it is a Made in USA model. I can feel a lot of similarities between the 992 and the 993. Um, if I had to pick between the two, I think I would like the 993 more, uh, but that's just because I've, I've had the 993 for three years. This sneaker, I mean, all the glue is, is stayed together. The stitching, I had to cut off a few loose ends of the stitching, uh, but everything else on this shoe is holding up great. The outsole is, is flawless. I just, I can't say enough good things about this sneaker and how you can revive New Balance sneakers. There's more life to that sneaker that you think is done. Like I think my 990 V5s are about cooked. After seeing this sneaker, they have like five more years left in them, at least. I'm very, very thankful that I was able to bring this sneaker back to life because when I first got it, I didn't think I would ever wear a sneaker that looked like that. But after cleaning it and fixing it and patching some of the bad stuff about it, it's wearable again. And I'm glad that I'm able to wear this sneaker because the guy that sold this probably was gonna throw the sneaker away but I was able to give it a new life, and I'm very happy about that. I love the 992 silhouette. I love the comfort, the looks. It's a great sneaker. Um, hopefully New Balance brings it back very soon. The laces held up strong. They, they became white again. For the most part, I'm just very happy with how the sneaker turned out. Hope you guys enjoyed this style of video. I know it was a little bit different, uh, but I had a lot of fun making it. So thank you guys for watching, and I hope you have a great day.